Victor, Christina, Jeremy. We're going to the moon. <laughs> They've been together as a crew for two and a half years, but the excitement is still there. Every day that passes puts them closer to flying an Orion capsule to the moon and back. There is danger, but it's outweighed tenfold by anticipation. For me, I actually feel completely 100% bought in. When I get an Orion, it's like climbing into my bed and I'll feel warm and tucked in. A metal and plastic bed. <laughs> <laughs> that camaraderie is going to be important on the mission. It's short, only nine and a half days, but it will be in very close quarters, basically a week and a half in a space about the size of a minivan. The Canadian on board, by the way, takes up more space than the others. Yeah, Canada did get more than its fair share um, <laughs> of the volume on this mission. I've heard it acknowledged many times, so I'm getting a little bit conscious about my size. <laughs> Artemis 2 won't land on the moon. It's very much a test run for missions that will. Everything they'll do from launch to landing is to make sure it works. We do all of this training, all this preparation, we're buying down all this risk, always thinking about what are we handing off to the next crew? Is what we're developing going to help them achieve that objective? Now, a couple of months ago, the crew says they locked themselves up to brainstorm a name for their capsule. They wanted something hopeful that spoke to their values. When NASA gives the okay for the crew to launch, they'll do so in the spacecraft Integrity. Mike Armstrong, Global News. St. Hubert, Quebec.